Well, good morning again. It's still April 1st, 2020. This is going to be the second segment. Uh, in here, we're going to continue on with Excel. We set up a table. We viewed how we can uh, work with data in a table by using the filter drop downs. And we also created a simple graph, a chart. And we saw how the chart is linked to the data. So as we begin to filter it, it will also change the chart. What we're going to look at now is a powerful tool called the pivot table. And so within the table itself, you can do this either in the worksheet or in uh, the actual table that you created. So if, you, if we were to um, click out of the table, Click on Insert. You have the option of building a pivot table here. Uh, when you're inside the table, Design, we can take a look at what the design options are, and we can summarize information with a pivot table. So you have that option here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. The Create Pivot Table box opens up. It tells us the range. Um, now we don't have a, a name here, it just says table one. If I was to cancel this, come up here to table name, call it states, and now it has a formal name. So when I click on summarize pivot table, it comes up as states. So obviously you can have different uh, named ranges or tables that you can work with. You can also hook up to an external data source. Here you get to select where you want the pivot table report to be placed. So you can either put it in an existing worksheet and give it a specific location or you can just have it create a new worksheet. And also um, you can add this to the data model and, and we'll talk about that uh, later. Choose whether you want to analyze multiple tables. As a powerful tool, again, it kind of emulates the uh, behaviors or mimics the behaviors of what you can do in Access. It's just a little clunkier. So I'm just going to click OK. So a new sheet is created. And we have this box here where our um, cell is selected, which is our pivot table area. And over here is kind of your design area. So I'm going to pull this open. And you have filters, columns, rows, and values. And you have different amounts that you can, or different uh, fields that you could choose to put in there. Uh, one of the things you're able to do is you can create or calculate new fields. So you can come here and select calculated field and so you can create a new field. And so um, we're going to call this short percentage change in births. And we're going to come down here and we're going to enter a formula. Oops. Oops. Oh, I don't want to use all caps. and divide births 2010 and then click OK. Alright, so now we've got a, a calculated field and what we can do is we 
to come over here and uh, select division Unselect it, you kick it out, or you can drag it here. We can drag down state, and it gives us all the different states. Now that's state number. We can unclick that. We say, oh, we don't like that. So let's go down here and we can select state name. And uh, it gives us all of the different states here. So right now, the value says sum of percentage. We can change this by going to field values. So right now it's on sum. We can click on average. You can also select your number format. So if you want it to show up as a percentage, choose the number of decimal places you want. And then click OK. And so now we've got the actual percentage and then an average. An overall average. OK. So that's a pivot table. So it allows us to get some basic information um, and allows us to kind of flip it around and look at it in different ways again. You can filter. So say we wanted to be able to filter by division. We can add this filter. Click. Say we want to see first. And now we have a pivot table for just the data that's related to the first division. Okay. So again, this is just another way to, to view data. Uh, you still have the same options as far as creating charts and all, but there's another interesting feature here. I'm going to go ahead and pull the vision out and put it back up here. One of the things you're able to do is uh, add something called a, uh, a slicer. And the slicer is pretty cool. We insert slicer, and we want to know what we want to do the slicing by. Let's say we want to do region. Click OK, and now you see we've got these different regions that come up. You just click on it. It has the same impact as using, say, the filters. So it just kind of formalizes the filter function here. You can click through and see different things here. This allows you to be able to select multiple items so you can have the whole list. Kind of cool there. The other thing you're able to do, of course, is you can um, create pivot charts. So we can create uh, different looks, uh, you know, different kinds of charts, depending on what it is we want to see. And so let's take a look. We've got line charts, we've got histograms, we've got columns. this so it's not on there and again so now you've got a quick chart by state of the population change so you can see which states have had the greatest population change and again you can go through and kind of play around with uh, what you want to look at so you've got the option of selecting just different states here you can 
and come in here and give it a new title if you'd like. Okay, you can format the accesses. So here we have options to be able to come in and do some formatting. And so again, you know, first we saw you can work with data in Excel in just the typical, uh, here's our range of data, and you can work with it as a range. We've seen where you could take it and turn it into a basic table and work with uh, the filters in the table and create charts and graphs. You can also provide totals, averages, and, and other functions. Here we can insert it as a pivot table which gives us another set of options for working with this particular set of data. Next, we're going to take on uh, something else called the uh, power pivot and show you what the possibilities are there. Now, power pivot, um, we'll have to take a look at how to install that. Uh, so we'll, I'll kind of walk you through those steps. At any rate, that's just the power of the pivot table.